Hello and welcome to Only Connect, the quiz that's so difficult yet charming, it's like an escape room you don't want to leave. Luckily, with our baffling competition rules, you literally can't. Joining me tonight are two winning teams who can't get knocked out, whatever happens, thus rendering the evening even more pointless than usual. And they are. On my right, Alan Hay, a part-time actor who inadvertently appeared in a campaign leaflet for Geoffrey Archer. Lindsay Baumeister, a keen traveller who has eaten tikka masala in every country she has ever visited. And their captain, Alan Flanagan, a journalism graduate whose left eye doesn't turn left. All murder mystery enthusiasts, they are the whodunits. And I remember in your, your last heat, you had a question about dough with Homer Simpson, and you told us you'd been making soda bread in lockdown. Are you still baking? No, I gave up. Um, it was too much. Have you found a new hobby instead? Um, just screaming into the void, classic 2020 stuff. Welcome back. You will be facing tonight, on my left, Laura Lawson, a qualified solicitor who met Chris Akabusi in her local branch of Curry's. Alexander Olive, a modern languages graduate who can name all 267 stations on the London Underground. And their captain, Alex Thomas, a keen footballer who has scored one goal in the past eight years. All enthusiastic wine drinkers they are, the corkscrews. You won the first episode of this series. How's the response been since it was on TV? Oh, we got, I got a great response from my uh, friends and family. I think everyone was just happy to have Only Connect back on TV. And have you done much screaming into the void since we saw you last? Not that much. Not yet. Let's see if we can fix that this evening. You won the toss Who Done It, but you've decided to put your opponents in first. So, corkscrews, please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Lion, please. Lion. You are going to see a series of picture clues. What connects them? Here's the first. Well, Next, please. That's Cressida Dick. Dick. Um, we don't know who the weather presenter is, do we? Oh, I can't no. no. Next, please. Oh, oh, God. God. It looks like there's a rugby player or some sort of. Oh. I can't think of the same. Should we go for the last one? Next, please. Oh, Richard. Oh, Richard. Richard. Richards. Or some. Um, uh, variant thereof. Their names are all a variation on Richard. Who are we looking at? So there's uh, Cressida Dick. That's um, right, Cressida and... Dick, Commissioner of Police of the Metropolis. Not to be confused with Commissioner of Police of Metropolis, which would be the guy from Superman. Who else? Uh, Lionel Richie. I once interviewed Lionel Richie. Unexpectedly, he is devastatingly attractive. <laughs> You, because you don't, he, I mean, you're probably too young, but so my judgment, he's slightly silly, these slightly silly songs, and then you meet him and he's, I mean, wow. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Who are the other two? Um, we have no idea. <laughs> In the first clue, that is the weatherman, Ben Rich, and the third one, I think you know, it's the film director, Guy oh, Ritchie. Oh. Surnames, all variants of Richard. Well done. Who done this? What would you like for your own question? Um, can we have the Eye of Horus, please? Yes, you can. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Yeah. Next. Why is the N capitalised? I don't know. Is it? Could it be that this? It's a word made of two things. Are things on their own? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's right. Next. Another name for something else. Um, next, please. Oh, they're not named. They're not named. They're not what they're Yeah, they're not named. Um, their names are kind of not what they are, so guinea pigs aren't from guinea. guinea. And they're not pigs. That's basically right. They're double misnomers. So it's not just that they're not pigs or they're not from Guinea, it's both. Chinese checkers, it's not Chinese, it's actually a German game. And it's not checkers because it's not played on a square board, it's sort of star-shaped board. Grape nuts, neither grapes nor nuts. It's a wheat and malted barley cereal. It's got no nuts in it or grapes. And horseradish, not a horse or a radish. Corkscrews, what would you like? Twisted flax, please. Twisted flax, OK. It's the music question. You'll be hearing your lovely clues. What do they have in common? Here's the first. Uh, I 
Jesus, please. Next, please. I don't even know what I'm going to guess at this point. No. Go for the next one. Go for the next one. Yeah. Next, please. Okay, Bob, Bob Marley, no woman, no crime. Um, it's all the guess. No woman, no Seconds. All to do with tears and crying. They are all to do with tears and crying. Very well done. What did you recognise? Uh, Bob Marley, No Woman, No Cry. Yes. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, me too. But I can tell you what they are. That third one, I mean, we should all know this, Tears, a number one hit in 1965. Anybody? Ken Dodd. Ken Dodd. Very well done. Lovely Ken Dodd. Not, not Ken Dodd fans over there? Do you know <laughs> even who I mean? Yes. No. <laughs> do you really not? <laughs> So young. <laughs> <laughs> um, that just some thematic uh, tears for me there. Mm. First one, La Shakio Pianga. It's from an aria by Handel. Uh, Let me weep. That's translated as. And stop your sobbing was the second one from the Pretenders. So uh, a good guess from one clue. They are all to do with tears. Back to you. Who done it? What would you like? Um, two reads. Two reads. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Uh, next. Next. She's on Shakespeare. Yes. Oh, right. Next. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's. Do it. They don't appear. They don't appear in the plays. Goldo doesn't appear. Rosaline's in Romeo and Juliet, but we don't see her. You're absolutely right. They are unseen characters. George and Margaret, a play by Gerald Savory. Uh, and George and Margaret are the guests that are coming for dinner, but they're late. Rosaline, that's right. That's Romeo's first love in Romeo and Juliet. Goldo, of course. And the second clue, do you know? No. That is Natasha's lover from Chekhov's The Three Sisters. Oh. I'm not sure prone to pop off is a great name for a lover, but a um, <laughs> oh, proto pop off, I'm so sorry. And they are all characters that do not appear, but are just discussed in plays. Well done. Back to you, corkscrews, for a choice. Water, please. Water. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. <laughs> Next, please. Okay, so these are the elements that you need for natural selection, I think. If you do, um... If you want, go, 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 go for it. Go for it. Are these all things you need to be in place for natural selection to take place? Very well done. They are the four factors of natural selection, though you only saw two of them. Can you tell me what the others would be? Uh, you need sort of, um, variation or mutation, something like that. That's exactly right. Variation in physical characteristics and variation in survival and number of offspring from Charles Darwin's theory of evolution. Just a theory, of course. <laughs> Why don't we say, if natural selection is a thing, what about the acarpi? Mm, Google it. That creature should not still exist. Very good knowledge. Have you read the book? Yes. Have you really? Yeah. Have you read his other book? Um, uh, the Voyage of the Beagle. It, well, I'm thinking of his last book, The Formation of Vegetable Mould Through the Action of Worms. Still working on that one. <laughs> Great for charades, I bet. <laughs> Very well done. Good natural selection knowledge. And back to you, who done it for the last question of the round, the horned viper. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Um, so it's his surname anyway. So the Fab Five paid tribute to him. Um, next. Ziggy Stardust or no? Um, Major Tom. Major Tom. Could be Major Tom. Um, or, or, no, could it be? Man who fell to earth. Man who fell to earth. I think we need the next one. Um, next. That is um, chic. Um, next. Marilyn Monroe was painted by Andy Warhol. So Warhol, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two yeah. yeah. seconds. Um, is it Warhol? Yes, that is the right answer. What can you tell me about some of these clues? Um, so Marilyn Monroe obviously famously was painted by Andy Warhol. Mm -hmm. uh, Valerie Solanas is a uh, is who murdered or 
No, um, she shot him. He, yeah, so she, she wounded him. him in 1968. Mm. She'd sent him a play and he'd rejected it and she was very offended and shot him. That's right. David Bowie. The album is Hunky Dory. There's a track Andy Warhol on that album, and Bowie also played Andy Warhol in the film Basquiat. And Fab Five Freddy. Do you know who that is? I do have no idea. No. Mercury. He was a, a, a sort of hip hop pioneer in New York in the 80s. He was also a graffiti artist and covered a subway carriage with uh, Cadbury soup cans. That was his tribute to Andy Warhol. What was Andy Warhol's birth name? Andrew Warhola. Mm -hmm. I like that because it seems like something that James Corden would call him in Gavin and Stacey. <laughs> <laughs> the evening Warhola. I was imagining saying. Andy Warhol is the connection. Very well done. And that means at the end of round one, the Who Whodunits have three points. The Corkscrews have five. <laughs> On to the sequences round where the teams may see a maximum of three clues before telling me what comes forth. You'll be going first again, corkscrews. What would you like? Two reads, please. Two reads. You'll be seeing the first in a series of picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Time starts now. Oh, it sounds it sounds on, doesn't it? Not Microphone. Really. Can you, um, next, please. Oh, oh, Audi. Audi. OK, so it's audio. Audi. Then something AUD. Then something oh, which is just AU. Gold, 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 so just a gold, gold. bar. A gold bar? Too easy. We had several gold bars. Very well done. What is this sequence? So the first one is audio dropping a letter to the next clue, which is Audi. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure what that third one is. Australian dollars. Ah. Okay. Australian dollars, AUD. that's right. It'll be written as AUD. And the last one, AU for gold bars. Very well done. Who done it? What would you like? Uh, water. OK, the water question. What will come forth in this sequence is the first. <laughs> um, leaving vans or to win something, or to win a Brit, or I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, next. Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Mm. Third. <laughs> Winners of. Oh, I can't think of anything. Um, any ideas? No. 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 Next. Keith Washington. <sighs> what could that okay, be? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Keith Washington. <laughs> The Beatles. Not the Beatles, I'm afraid. Corkscrews, do you know? First, Jason Donovan. Jason Donovan. There's someone who should be on an Australian banknote. <laughs> and why is it Jason Donovan? Uh, Alex, do you want to... Oh, these are people who had duets with Carly Minogue and we're going back to the first one. That is absolutely right. What were those duets? So the third one with Nick Cave was Where the Wild Roses Grow. Yes. Um, the Robbie Williams ones. one was Kids. That's right. Keith Washington, that was her second duet. Uh, if you were with me now. And the first, of course, with Jason Donovan. But what was that one? I forget. What was that? <laughs> you were, let's remind people. One, two, three, four. Especially for you. I want to let you know what I was going through. That's it. <laughs> All the time, the time we were apart, I thought of you. You were in my heart. My love never changed. I still feel the same, especially for you. Oh, very nice. <laughs> lovely. No points for you, but lovely singing and a bonus for you, corkscrews. Please choose your own question. The Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. OK, what would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Four. Are you quite coming out? How many letters are that? Five in total? Uh, yeah, OK. Uh, next, please. I know, no, because it, it, the word's got longer now. Mm. So that didn't well, it's still four missing letters. Yeah. Mm. Next, please. It's cubed. Oh, gosh. Um, it's like Austria, Austria, Austria. Um, at, uh, at, uh, oh, no, we don't come to, we don't come to fourth. Um, That's just about four. A bit of an answer. A, followed by four dashes. S cubed. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Who done it? Do you know? Um, a followed by four dashes and a D. 
Not it, I'm afraid. You're not spotting this sequence. We have gone from the beautiful Kylie Minogue to the horrible Alien. We're looking at the Alien films. If you fill in those blanks, you just get the word Alien to begin with, then Aliens, then Alien 3, but it looks like it's cubed, and next would be... Resurrection. Resurrection. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Especially for you. I've never actually seen Alien. I assume they sort of croak in that kind of scary way. So no points there, but who done it? You may have a question. What's it to be? The lion. Lion. OK, what would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Andalusia is... Uh, Spain. Where is it again? Spain. 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 Um, Spain. Next. Next. So is, it bigger, is it going to be provinces in Spain getting bigger? Or? Do we know the name of... Um, so it could it's be Catalonia. Catalonia. Do we think it could be Catalonia? Do we go for it? Would the third one help us? Would the third help us? Um, yeah. Go for it. Buzz? Yeah. Catalonia. Very good. Early buzzing. The answer yes. is Catalonia. What is the sequence? Uh, it is. We think it's maybe increasing, increasing region. regions of Spain. Spain. It's just geographical. We're going round from southwest to northeast. It's the autonomous communities of the Mediterranean coast of Spain. Very well done. Back to you, corkscrews, for a choice. Twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. OK, what would come forth in this sequence is the first. Stadium is called DW, I think. Okay. Okay. Next, please. Oh, oh that's just a CX. CX. So it's AX. So, so we think DW, CX, so D, C, B, A, and then W, X, Y, Z. A to 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 I will accept that. AZ is the answer I want, and there's all sorts of things it could be. It could be a person called Arnold Zimmerman. Might be the Arizona Postal abbreviation. AZ is the answer, and why? So, the Wigan Athletic Stadium is the DW, um, and so the first letter is going towards A uh, in the alphabet, and the second letter is going towards Z. That's it. Very well done. Who done it? One question remains again. That'll be for you. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Yoshi. OK, so this is a production of Mario games. Um, he was... he lays eggs. He is a dinosaur. Was it, did he have his own game? Possibly. Um, we have to go this. Next. Hero. Oh. Hero doing sushi. Hero is character in um, the Heroes, the TV show. Um, this could be... these could be Japanese terms or yeah. something, but I don't know what they are. Next. I hate to make him tell me what she hit down, so I just don't choose him for his mask. It's no. I think it's N-E-U-R. Two seconds. Is it N-E-U-R for Narito? Or is it N-E-R-I-T? I'm afraid I can't accept that answer. I'm going to throw it over to the court screws. Do you know? N-U? That's not it either. And I'm very sorry not to give it to you. You are so close, but it is a word one. I think you know the connection, Alan. What is it? It's the Japanese emperors. So Yoshihito, Hirohito, Akihito, and it would have been Narito. Well, this is the thing. You are absolutely right. It is emperors of Japan going forwards in time, and we've taken off the Hito, which is the honorific. Uh, that follows it, meaning sort of a high moral character. Not just for emperors, actually. That would be the whole royal family. So, like, in our own family here, you know, whether you're the Queen or Prince Andrew, you're of impeccable moral character. <laughs> so it's the bit that comes before the Hito, and it would be Naru. It's the Emperor Naru Hito, N-A-R-U, and you're so close, but because it is a word mm. one, and that's how it's written in English, I can't accept it. I'm sorry. And that means, at the end of round two, the whodunits have six points, the corkscrews have 12. <laughs> time now for the connecting wall and whodunits. You'll be going first this time, as you chose. Would you like lion or water? Can we have lion, please? Yes, you can. Two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting now. O.C., Naive, Grimm, Smoncelli, Uber. So Grimm, Shelley, authors. Bronte. Um, Uber, Jealous, Bronte. Um, so, Travel, Zurich, Young, O.C.'s TV show, Orange County. Uh, let's say Shelley, Bronte, Grimm. So si siblings, maybe, who writers. Um, anything else? Renewable Energy, uh, Chloe. Naive, uh, things that can have an accent on them. The, the double dot. Uh, yeah. Bronte, double dot, and Zurich, double dot. 
Okay, anything else with double dot on it? Um, Uber. So, uh, leave out yeah. Bronte, leave out Naive. Cool, okay. Cool. Um, naive, what else could that be? Evian backwards, um, tons backwards. Yeah. yeah. Tons. Um, anagrams of things. Do, 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 do. Try Drabble, Enos, Grim, and Lamb. Jealous, things that are green. Jealous, renewable, okay. Renewable. It's gotta be a word. Renewable energy, smut. Smut, young, shipwright, young, lamb. Ship. Shelly, Ship. Amos, Grimm, young, all surnames. Um, obviously, are there any sound alikes like smut? I'm looking for names here, but I can't seem to find. Go oh, drab, drabble, lamb, grim, anus. Drabble, lamb, grim, anus. What are we thinking for that? What's the. I think the drabbles are sisters and grim oh. brothers. And... We've got 30 okay. seconds. The young sisters. I'm going to try some names there, see if we can get anything. I'll leave out grim, leave out shelly, leave out drabble. Um, smut, must, Evian, naive. Uh, are there letters put into something? Letters taken out. Ten seconds. <laughs> um, boo, 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 uh, trying our best. <laughs> and that's it. The time is up. The wall has frozen, but well done for finding a group. What connects Uber, Bronte, Chloe, and Zurich? You can put an umlaut, like a double dot, on all of them. They are missing their umlauts, that's right. And you can still get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. There you go, that's how it should be. OC, smut, drabble, ship. Random, because you can ship stories where you put two characters together in kind of a romance. So there's some kind of other fandom fan fiction words. It's terminology from fan fiction. You've absolutely got it. Well done. And the next group, Grim, Shelley, Amos, Lamb. Is it literally siblings? I mean, I'll take their families who write. Mm -hmm. And what about the last group? Naive, jealous, renewable, young. You can use the word green to describe them. You can use the word green for all of them. Very well done. So you found one group and you gave me the connection, plus the connections for the others. That is the total of five. Let's bring in the corkscrews now, give them the other wall and see how they get on. You have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting now. Okay, so we've got Formula One drivers. Right, so we've, got, we've got French supermarkets as well. Uh, let's do French supermarkets. Carrefour. Auchan. Casino. Leclerc. Casino. I don't know. Oh, gosh, no. Oh, um, um, ice creams. Magnum. Feast. Uh, Solero. Uh, Twister. Feast. Solero. Magnum. Feast. No. Is there another, another ice cream? Oh, we've got, we've got video platforms. So Webex. Webex Zoom. Hangouts. Zoom. Okay, so French supermarket, so you said you have four. Is there another one? Is that there are loads of them. Monoprix, yes. So, Monoprix, yeah, so yeah Monoprix, I try Monoprix. Okay, so Monoprix, Leclerc, Leclerc Auchan, Carrefour. and Casino. Okay, so leaving out Auchan. No, with Auchan, because Auchan can't be anything else. Okay, well, uh, leaving out Leclerc. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. So, so, ice creams, like, um, Ice creams. Twister, Solero, Magnum. Magnum. Those two were. Please, did you try them? Yeah, I think I've tried them before. Oh, Zoom. 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 Leave out Magnum. Three lives now. So we've got. Do we, do we think we still have video platforms? Yes, we do. Okay. So WebEx Hangouts. Um, Blue Jeans is Chai, maybe. So, so what's this other category the there? Oh, they kind of seventies Texas. Oh, Magnum yes. PI, Star Screen Hutch. Magnum PI. Oh, are they famous mustaches like Leclerc and um, Hello Hello? Okay, and then what would that? But who's the other one? <laughs> Blue Jeans or Perfect or Chai? Perfect, Chai maybe. Is that like, something like Peter Try Perfect? Blue jeans. And... Try Blue Jeans? Yeah. No, try, try Perfect with like, those three. OK. That's it. You've solved the wall. Very well done. So that's four immediate points. What about the connections? Monoprix and so on. The French supermarkets. They are the French supermarkets. Next group, Twister, Solero, Zoom and so on. Ice creams? Yeah, ice creams or ice lollies, I think you'd probably say. And the next group, Leclerc, Magnum, Perfect and Starsky. Are they people with famous moustaches? 
No, what it is, and this is quite tricky, they all drive or drove red cars. Oh, Let's say that a Ferrari driver, Magnum, of course, a magnificent moustache, uh, Tom Selleck. I think that's Peter Perfect from the Wacky Races and Starsky from Starsky and Hutch Red Cars. And the last group, Chime, Blue Jeans and so on. Video conferencing platforms. They are video conferencing platforms, that's absolutely right. So that is three connecting points for a total of seven. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The Whodunits have 11 points, the Corkscrews have 19. And on we go to the missing vowels round. So fingers on buzzers teams. I can tell you that the first group of disguised clues are all rhyming synonyms. I'll start you off. This one is rude and crude. Next clue. Who done it? Well and Twill. Correct. Who done it? Jabbering and blabbering. Yes, it is. Who done it? Lighting and Brighton. Correct. Next category: rhyming antonyms or opposites. Who done it? Tall and small. Correct. Corkscrews. Scrawny and brawny. Yes, it is. Corkscrews. Overt and covert. Correct. Who done it? Either and neither. Correct. Next category: films set in what is now the past. Who done it? Set in 2019. Who done it? Westworld. Set in 1983. Who done it? Escape from New York. Set in 1997. Who done it? The Running Man. Set in 2019. Correct. Next category: parts of a computer. I'm delighted to say there is no time for that intensely boring category. We would have seen central processing unit, and I'm glad we're not going to, because the bell has gone for the end of the quiz. And looking at the final scores, it's turned out to be a very close run thing. The runners-up have 20 points, the winners have 21, and the winners are the corkscrews. You just hung on to that lead, but who done it? It's what an amazing round four. You came so close, nearly won it. But of course, you're not going home because you'll be playing again later in the competition. You're not going home either. Nobody's going anywhere. We're basically in a lockdown of our own right here in the studio. Well done, all of you, and thanks for playing. And thank you very much for watching. Please join me next time for the show so full of esoteric quizzes. Many of them don't even own a telly. The first time they know what I look like is when they turn up here. Goodbye.